They say that April showers bring May flowers, but once those gorgeous blooms finally arrive, how do you arrange them for maximum effect? Well, one of Britain's leading garden experts came to St. Louis in April of 2018 to demonstrate. This is a gift from heaven, this magnolia to me, because in England, we don't have huge trees of it like you do here. Um, obviously, it doesn't like your cold winters, but it, it grows wonderfully well in hot summers, and we have a temperate climate, so we're neither too cold nor too hot. So it's kind of safe and a bit boring, really. But if you're into flowers and gardening, there's nothing boring about Alan Gray. Oh. Lively bunch, aren't they? <laughs> he came to St. Louis at the invitation of the Church of St. Michael and St. George in Clayton. He conducted a two-day flower arranging workshop as a fundraiser for the church's flower guild. Some of my earliest memories of flower gardening really were with my grandmother. And I used to go to grandmother and grandfather's on a Saturday morning, day off school, and I would clean out some of the chicken houses and put the manure on the manure heap. And that, for that, I would get paid sixpence, which is goodness knows nothing. Uh, <laughs> but in the afternoons, after lunch, we used to have, Granny used to cook lunch, and then we, we used to get on our bicycles and we used to cut flowers, get on our bicycles and go down to the local churchyard and put flowers on the graves. And we'd take shears and we'd, you know, cut the, grave, the graves up and make them nice and neat. And if, if people couldn't go, for instance, there was an old lady up the road called Mrs. Dorothy Bradford, and she was a great friend of my grandmother's, but she was a cripple and she couldn't get out, so we would do her family's graves as well. But it was an idyllic time, and it sowed in me this seed, this love of surrounding myself with a, not just flowering plants, but trees and, and a vegetable garden, and, you know, herbs and, and you know, things like tomatoes and peppers we grow under glass and all, all of the wonderful things. I mean, if you, if you grow your own vegetables, fruit, flowers, uh, salads, cut fresh, mm, you can't beat it. When you're using branches in your arrangement, try to go with the flow. For instance, don't do that. Do that. Follow the line. Gray is co-owner of East Ruston Old Vicarage in the English county of Norfolk. This is what the vicarage sitting on two acres looked like in 1973 when Gray and his partner took up residence. Over the years, they planted, purchased more land, and did more planting. The old vicarage gardens now covers more than 30 lavish acres of flowers, shrubs, trees, and vegetables. It's open to visitors five afternoons a week. And uh, one of the things they say uh, continually visitors when they come through the garden, they say, you must be proud, and I say, no, I am never proud, because if I become too proud, I will become complacent. And a garden is an organic thing, and it just grows, and you've got to manage that. So if a plant grows too wide, you've got to get it back, or you move something, or you, do, you adjust all the time. So I won't com become complacent, and I'm not proud. St. Michael and St. George parishioner Louise Salmon suggested bringing Alan Gray to town well, for the workshop. My husband was the Bishop of South Carolina for 18 years, and there's a church in Charleston where we lived that does a flower arranging seminar like this every other year, and they're really, really loved and appreciated, and lots of people come. And so since they started a flower guild here, she talked to me about maybe doing something like that, and that's how it came about. So how did you find Alan Gray? I found Alan because the vice dean and canon presenter of Norwich Cathedral taught in the summer at Neshota House, where my husband was dean. At the, end, at the very end of his life, he was dean for a few years. And this lovely um, vice dean and canon presenter was very sharp and sophisticated and well-read and interesting. And so I called him and said, you know, we would like somebody that's connected to a cathedral that understands church flowers to come over here and lead you know, a seminar for us. And so he said, call Alan Gray. Alan turned me down the first time. <laughs> yeah, I had to write, you know, we had to work on it to talk him into it. So we were glad to get him. How about uh, like daylilies will do that, but I've, I've seen the daylilies bloom twice, but I don't have to do any snipping. No, Alan. you don't. The day before the workshop, KMOX talk show host, Donnie Brook provocateur and civic activist, Charlie Brennan chatted with Gray about daylilies, the benefits of soil testing, and Gray's visit to the Missouri Botanical Garden. It is so beautiful, and I hope you all, everybody here and everybody that's listening, use it because it needs to be used because if you don't use it, you could lose it. Gray is no stranger to the microphone. He has his own radio program on BBC Norfolk and hosts the video series Get Gardening. 
She, I think it has to be she with all that frilliness about her, she is called Apple Blossom and you can really see why. The pink and white flowers and the pink and white petals going together and just making an absolute mass. And the idea is that we get the ivy in and we take it round and we join it to the next piece of ivy until we've got a collar. Is there any chance that if invited you would return to St. Like a shot. I would, I think this is one of the most lovely parts of the world I've ever been to. I mean, it's not just the, the place, it's the people as well. I have to say everybody's been absolutely charming to me. I would be back like a shot, I love it.